So I've received a TiVo Tornado, and we're going to do an unboxing real quick. Um, assemble it, and basically power it up to make sure it powers up for this video. And then there will be another video where we actually do some printing. So let's see what it is when we open this up. Alright, so it's packaged really well. It's actually an assembly manual, and I uh, packaged really well. I mean, everything has little compartments where it's packed inside. So this is packed a lot better than I've seen on other printers. Uh, let's pull everything out. There's a lot of packing material. Alright, does that all have to come out at the same time? Yes. Alright. There's split loom around all the cables, so that's really nice to keep everything together. Oh, this is actually a test print sitting on top. Actually looks pretty good. Alright, so as much as I hate to do it, I'm going to pull the manual. Since there are a few extra parts over here.
So here's a quick look at the screen on the TiVo Tornado. And the rest of the build. Okay, so let's go ahead and make sure that all the servos work. So And I realize this table isn't flat. This is not where I'll be printing. I just want to make sure everything works before I carry it in. And then we just get in. Okay, it looks like all the servos work. So I'm going to move the Z back up. And let it heat up to make sure the heating elements work. Okay, so we started, uh, looks like we're going to 200 degrees for the nozzle and 80 degrees for the bed. Personally, I would never heat the bed to 80 degrees for a PLA. I would do 55 to 60, um, but this is a good test and I'll change the, config the default for the PLA uh, before I go any further after this. Precise. We're up to 74 degrees for the bed and there's definitely heat on the bed. And we're at 80 degrees for the bed. So it preheated really quick. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to, when I do the edit, speed that up or just cut out what we were saying. But that was an incredible, incredible. an incredibly fast preheat. So let's go ahead and check the temperatures and see if it's actually about that. That is hot. Okay, so I'll do a quick test to see what I'm actually reading for the surface. I'm reading 77 degrees Celsius and it's saying 80. I'll go with that since there's an extra layer between the heating element and the thermistor and the surface. The filament that's left over is melted. So we should be good to go. Now I'll go ahead and shut it off and on the next video we'll do a test print. I was leveling it and I noticed a little issue. This uh, plastic shield down here was actually uh, less than a millimeter above the surface. So since that might catch on something, um, I went ahead and loosened these two bolts and then adjusted the shield up and then tightened it back down and that takes care of that problem um, other than that I didn't see any issues the leveling isn't pleasant but the leveling isn't pleasant on any 3d printer leveling the front left is easy enough to do because you can actually get to the thumb screw and the top of the bolt. Um, the problem comes in when you do the top front right. You can't actually get to the bolt. So there's a quite a bit of back and forth where you're having to send it back to the left, back to the right, 
as you do the fine tuning and try to get the adjustments just just right. Um, everything else seems to be okay. The rear right. As you can see, you can actually get to the bolt. And the left, you can also get to as well. It's readily accessible. So, it's just this one in the front that's difficult. Otherwise, it's pretty easy to level compared to every other printer. And I think this is all I'm going to do for the setup. And then the next video will actually be the printing.